より。Hello, everyone. Welcome to Mario Show. Banjo Cheesy People to Love. Wow! And yes, episode ten. Wow, that was dramatic for Raz indeed. Well, let's just say individual members went through their struggle to like you know, find some cohesion within the team. And yes, you know with Choo Choo's personality, it's kind of hard for them to come together and you know uh, resolve the situation. And especially the fact that Perio is now gone now, and of course, you know Choo Choo still kind of like, you know having some sort of like um post traumatic insult of Perio reaction. From it, so you can say that she's not feeling very much motivated to like produce some music. But of course, the fact that all the team members also affected too, and of course the performance also affected too. So you can say that they're actually dropping points. So, but uh, who knows? They could actually drop all the way to the uh, beyond tenth place. So, yeah, let's just say Ras is not really doing well right now because there's lack of cohesion within the team. And now you know to amend the the sort of problem they're having right now, they need to go and find Pario. Basically, the reason why Choo Choo still kind of like you know suffering. Because like you know, Pario is gone because she actually insult um insulted Pario back in episode nine. So yeah, let's just say they need to go and find Pario and sort of like uh, overcome the situation. Of course, we have to get to see about Choo Choo's past too, which you know she she has a very stressful life since her parents is like actually quite successful in you know the music industry, and of course she she expects to do do well too, and that's why she wants to form a band to show her mother that she can also do well in the music industry that it doesn't involve like you know play, playing instruments. So yeah. Let's just say we get to at least get to see the the sort of like the pain Choo Choo went through. That's why and the reason why she's so motivated to go through all this just to um you know the um, the making sure the rest to see and stuff like that. And now today's episode, we're gonna see how Choo Choo go about to like you know apologize for what she say and amend her relationship with Pario. Those two are like forever inseparable. But you can say that because of episode nine, the end of episode nine, those two currently currently in some sort of hot war situation. But yeah, you know, Choo Choo has just been a very childish Shindere, so well, today's episode, I'm pretty sure from the PV, we can, we're gonna see them come, overcoming the situation, we get to see Paris' backstory, what led her to, you know, meeting uh, Choo Choo, and uh, what, what made her became so, you know, colorful with her hair, so, yeah. It's gonna be interesting indeed, and let's get started, shall we? And yes, I'm still sticking to this format because of, you know, copyright issues. But don't worry, add a bit of audio to the reaction. So yeah, let's check out episode eleven, which which was like uh, released like literally two uh, one hour ago. So yeah, here we go in three, two, one, bam. Aha! So they managed to find the uh, Kagakanagawa of some sort. Ka Kamogawa is that actually a place though. Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. Ask for help, man. Oh, yeah. Why don't you say that sooner, Locker? Um, it's logical to be honest. It's not smart. It's logical. You're supposed to be asking people for help rather than just assuming that you can find her by yourself. Uh, uh, da. So yeah, why not go around asking the students around this area, kind of Gawa area, kind of go Gawa, whatever kind of Gawa area. So just to like you know, making sure that um they can able to have some sort of leading direction to find you know um Pario because like they're new to this place after all. I'm pretty sure they'll find her anyways. She could she I mean she just look for a girl with a twin tail and tall. I would say. Um, but yeah, it seems like now they just have to make sure that they manage to get Pario back to the side now. And to do that, they need Choo Choo, because you know, I'm pretty sure Roca and and yeah, the drummer would, would not really able to convince her to come return because, like, Pario, she's basically hurt. The reason why she's hurt because of Choo Choo, the, the main source of her why she's in pain right now. That's why it's better to have Choo Choo to be the one talking to her rather than those two. But who knows? Choo Choo could arrive in time to just you know talk to her about it, of course. And so yeah, hopefully we get to see a new song. I'm I'm pretty sure there's um I'm pretty sure there'll be a new song. I mean every time there's a, like a struggle within the team, they they form a new song uh, talking about this the issue they're having. So yeah, let's go, shall we? Pario no longer exists. Yeah, the drama began. Mm 
Ha ha. Oh, ho, 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 ho. intimidation. That's not gonna work, man. See, that's dude. You should just not intimidate, man. Because of your fucking face. <laughs> oh my god, because of that face, people are scared of you, man. Just let Rocka do the talking. Just let Rocka do the talking. Oh wow, just infra just trespassing the school, man, really. Just walk straight in. See my god. Pyro. Mm hmm Exactly, ponytail. Twin tail. How about this tall? She's really tall. Mm hmm Oh hey, she got pictures. Uh huh. Let me guess, she can see from the eyes. Nubara. Nubara, that's a real name, huh? Riona Nubara. Oh, Riona, that's that's a real name. Riona, Riona is in Riona from Sao, the singer. Okay. Yep. I wow, I never knew she has a, such a high status and a silent person. Nuvara. What a weird last name. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, she never really mentioned about our backstory, which we're gonna get to know about in this episode. Mm hmm Of course, man. She's gonna stand right- Oh, there she is. Aha, she's back. And she reacted it too. So it's her. Oh, damn, she wore glasses. Damn, black hair, wearing glasses. Damn, she, she's a hottie. Ooh, wow, she's fast. Holy shit, she's fast. <laughs> oh. Damn, she's fast. And of course, a motorcycle. Of course, a motorcycle. Catch up easily. Was she part of the athletic team, by the way? She's so fast, man. And dead end. Unless she jump over. <laughs> mm hmm No, she's denying. Real Nan Yobara. Mm-hmm. Mm hmm mm hmm Yeah, kawaii. That's it? Just kawaii? Yeah, oh, so she has a second identity, Pario. Class representative. Yeah, she has a, a very high status, soft-spoken. Wow, not bad. Wow, she's kind of really popular too, and she don't like it. Yeah, I mean, with her height and her athleticism, of course, she will be part to something better. Yeah, it's new virus, like why you're one of those typical smart, smart ass sporty, protagonist uh, heroine, and it seems like her parents is like one of those late night workers. And damn, she's a big fan of them. Of wow, okay. I think pa Peso Palette. She's a big fan of Peso Palette. Wow, okay. Damn, fandom much. Super fandom much. Oh, -oh. damn, she's good. So she upload her video on YouTube. Yep, she upload her video on YouTube. Wow, I never. Wow, she's a big fan of Pastel Pilot. <laughs> Chi Chu, unstoppable. And that's how she met Chu Chu. <laughs> and that's how those two met. Just like that. That's how those two met and became very close. But. 
Mm -hmm. Oh, ho, ho, ho. oh, okay. So that awakened her. That really awakened her. And she gets to wear all these fancy costumes too. And that's how she became Pario. Mm -hmm. And then we get Pario going to take advantage of it. Choo choo. Producer. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. What do you want to play her music? I guess succeed. Aha! Change her identity, and that's she how she became Pario. Change her look, change her way of approaching life, rather than be a very silent girl. <laughs> mm hmm. Let's change the world together. And that's how Pario world awakens. Because of Choo Choo. Oh, my, my princess. Choo Choo Sama. Oh, ho, ho, ho. And that's how those two became close. And pa then that's Pario. Mm hmm. Um, you need, they need a keyboard, to be honest. They really need it. They really need. They need her. And because she's char her, she has a charm to the team too. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm <laughs> wow. Okay. <laughs> Is she really phrasing her all those f uh, nice looking physique? Mhm. Mm oh wow. Okay. How nice of her to say that. Mmm, <laughs> still in the neglect uh, uh, that Napario is dead. Well, doesn't everyone? Oh, ho ho. It's too late. Mm hmm. Hey. Mm hmm. Because of that moment, really. Ah, uh, okay. Like I said, you need Choo Choo to be the one talking through this. Oh my God! She let her head down, man. <laughs> Yeah, she's enjoy it too, but it's just that... Mmm... Oh, look at Rocka trying to be the one to save the moment. And she's doing a really good job too. Giving all those attributes to making a good, a good band. And what makes them shine. Hmm. Yep. Well said. Well said. Well, very well said, Rocka. Not sure without convince her though. Huh? Oh, hey, Choo Choo, just in time. Just in time. Wow, she came in time. Make a run for it. Jump over. Oh no, she's not planning to do that. Ay. Oh. Oh, okay. Sorry, there we go. Oh, oh, do you apologize? <laughs> oh, just like that. Just see a simple apology, and everything is okay now. Just a simple apology, everything's okay now.
How cute. Oh, okay, I see. So she just got scared that, you know, if they hang out with more with the other bands, they just forget about the, the rest and stuff like that. But, you know, that's just, you know, she should just try her best to making sure that Rass stays together. Mm -hmm. And of course, that shows solidarity with May. <laughs> Aww, and look at them just just like that they just resolved the matter <laughs> mm -hmm. yep let's sit down and get to know more about one another, get to know the goals, get to know their um the posit uh, positives, their negatives. And that's how you get to form this cohesion. Mm -hmm. Exactly. I should say Rocka really did an amazing job convincing pa giving Aparios those amazing I uh, attributes to why 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 they need her. What? It's a birthday? Okay, it's a birthday. Okay. Interesting. So... That's why they, they're trying to rush back in time so that to celebrate her birthday. So what they plan to do is give her some amazing music as a birthday present? I can see so. Oh damn! Ooh. Oh man, I love the jam, man. See, with parry around the keyboard, it can make a beautiful song. Hey. Oh damn, I just say Raz is really stepping up with the music. You know they can do really well with the song without Choo Choo being like the DJ. <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> oh, damn. That is some nice birthday present right for them, by them. Oh, damn, nice one. Oh, how adorable. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. See, they're showing solidarity. 
Mm-hmm. Of course, Rock was the last member to join, and she's feeling privileged. Oh, Tanji will ready though. Oh, ah. Mm-hmm. She's crying. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, what a Sundara. Oh, okay. <laughs> Mm hmm In terms of like teaching them the power of friendship. Yeah. Mm hmm Mm hmm <laughs> Yeah, how cute. How cute. They all became friends now. Wow, okay. They really became friends. And see, they are motivated to, to, to remain second place. Detour? To where? Oh, okay. Okay. Some nice fan service scenes. Yeah! Yeah, thank you, thank you. Not like up to here, thank you. <laughs> Test of courage. <laughs> How? How? <laughs> okay, so she wasn't counting. Good, good idea, I guess. <laughs> Ni san yoi. See, look at those girls bonding together, man. They're really bonding together and they're finally sticking together now. This shows solidarity and I'm very proud of them. And it seems like everyone's doing quite well too. I think Kazumi passed their exam too. Mm hmm Oh Mm hmm Need to See? Why do think Poppy Party play well as a team? Because they all stick together, they all understand each other. <laughs> See? This, this bump fist, man, just shows solid, show team solidarity. <laughs> Aha! Let's see, see the ranking, man. Let's see the ranking. Who is first, second, third? Aha! Time's up. Mmm! Hers is Rosalia. My girls. My girls. My girls. My girls. My girls. <laughs> I mean, they expected it. They expected it. This means. Who second? Who second? Hmm? What the fuck? Plot twist, popping party bounce back. Maverick, you better be happy. Maverick, you got you better be happy with this, man. Oh my god. 
Puffin Party, they bounce back big time. S joint second place. Is that even possible for Budokan? Cause joint second place. Wow. Popping party just just bounced back big time man. And obviously since they're like the main band of this whole franchise. Why not I guess? <laughs> wow, okay. Okay, so it's gonna be a three way battle in the Budokan. I mean to be honest, Ras, Brasilia, and Popping Party, these are like the main bands in the whole franchise itself. In like, in live concerts, it's always these three. Um, in like live concerts, in like uh, um real real human live concert, not the movie live concert. Um, the live concert is always Ras, Popping Party, Brasilia, and hey, we we have again, and now we have the three of them performing together, join join second place and for number one place. Plot twist, oh my god. Who would have predicted that popping party from you know from the 100 or 200 place from the start of the season and now they reach to second place. Oh my god. This is surreal man. Jesus Christ, this is unbelievable. Second place. How is this even possible? Dude, they really stepped up, man. They, dude, Popping Party, they really stepped up. Ever since Arisa proposed the plan, they perform in multiple live houses and they perform, like, with, like you know, collab with other ba uh, bands too. In this case, Rosalia, Pastel Palette, uh, Happy Hollow World, and Ras. I think because they collab with Ras, that's why they gain so much proper, more popularity. And of course, the music video too, but it's more about the live concert they've been doing. And like, like I said, I mean, of course, it's action plan, guys. If you have a, like an action plan in place, you will do really well. It, I mean, obviously, all the bands too, I don't know why, but they kind of been neglected for this whole Bandori, uh, Bang, Bang Dream Bat uh, Girl Battle Royale. It's, I don't, it's always popping Party, Raz, and Rosalia. I mean, because of, you know, they're the, one of the most popular bands in the whole Bandor, uh, ba Bang Dream franchise. Um, fan, all the Bandoris pretty much love these three bands. The other bands are pretty much like a hit and miss, to be honest. So, yeah, popping Party. Of course, for the whole, fr for the franchise purpose, they need to make sure that Popping Party somehow is able to perform in the Budokan to keep those who are big Popping Party fan happy. And I'm talking about you, Mavri. So, yeah. My girl is Brasilia. Number one place, man. I'm so happy for them. I am so happy for them. However, it's gonna be a three way battle now in the Budokan. Oh dear. Who gonna come out number one? If Popping Party come out number one, this is pretty much like a very. Th um, I wouldn't say fix the um, ending for for this series where you see popping party win this. I'm actually I don't know why I'm saying this. But I'm, I'm actually hoping Ras actually win this, uh, win the Budokan because you know they've been through a lot, especially these past two episodes. And I think I think yeah, like I said, season three is mostly Ras focused, so I won't be surprised if Ras actually win this Budokan because like you know they pretty much shine this whole season three. Um, so yeah, Rosalia, my girls came first. I mean, to the, the, not, no surprise to be honest. But yeah, I, I, like what Sayo said there, hmm, could this be that Popping Party actually can gain second? Like Yukina knows. She actually knows because you know she's been observing the performance. And Yukina kind of was aware how well Popping Party been through, uh, go through different stages to get to this far already. And especially the fact that you know, they collab with them in the, uh, back in episode 10. So Yukina, she is actually not that surprised to be honest because she knows that Poppy Party will eventually bounce back. And of course since they're, they're the main part of the industry too, so why not, I guess. Um, but damn, they really, I mean, this just shows that Arisa action plan really, uh, really worked. 
like if you don't have an action plan you don't have any like um strategy to go for to gain uh, um, votes and stuff like that you won't you're just going to be stuck in the 100 place in some sort but arisa been being very aggressive with her plans i'm, I'm very glad that the popping party stick to her plan they they made it to number number two place i'm 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 kind of happy with that they the when can show that if you have a plan in place you can actually achieve a lot of stuff through, through it um but yeah see so it seems like you know popping party the reason why they're they all they are so cohesive because they understand each other they've been through they've been through a lot already back in season one and season two already so you can see that they are they are they are like a, a proper group that sticks together they understand each other they understand how they how each other thinks so you can say popping party i don't see them like so have a conflict more more fight in the future they just you know able to resolve each other's situation because they understand each other more but then you know ras in this episode i mean this past two episodes basically ras focus we get to see parios past riona and she's a big big pesto palettes fan I mean, hence why we can see where her colorful hair comes from and why she loves cute dresses because, you know, she, of her love for pastel palette. Yeah, I can, now I see the connection to her cosplaying, her hair design because she, she loves colorful um, dresses and hair. So in this case, we can see the fact that she's a big pastel palette fan. Wow, that's quite kind of random to be honest, but we can, we can see the connection to her very fancy cosplay and hair, um, hair colors. And she loves cute stuff too, and apparently, um, Riona, should I say, Apario, she is a uh, like one of those standout students. She one of those um, scholar students. She she's good at sports, good at studying, very um, re class representative, an idol in the school, but a very quiet person. So you can say she's your typical generic honor students. Yes, yeah, she's your honor student, guys. Before she she met Chu Chu. And she loves to upload piano onto YouTube. I can see to you know get get her place to be part of the pilot. I mean, fair play for her, of course. But you know, bands only be five members only, six members very rare to be honest. So unless you add in a violin to it, I know one band called Alia. They have a violin, a violinist, a keyboard, two guitarists, a drummer, and a vocalist. So you can say six members, but that's a bit too many to be honest. Um, but yeah, I mean, we get to see how what led her to become so attracted to Choo Choo. Choo Choo need her because you know her keyboard, her 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 way of playing the music is uh, fits her liking, fits her tune her so sort of style of music, and they became close since then. And then you know Rocka just being Rocka, trying to like convince her to like uh, reconsider not quitting, re reconsider uh, everyone's feeling, be part of the team. Get we need to stick together rather than go individual way. I'm very glad that Rocka really tried to step out because like you know back in the start of the season she was the one that you know being recruited and she was actually the one that been struggling to be part of the team but and now she's like probably part of the team you can tell because you know she wants the what's best for the team and she do what she, she did what all heroine likes to do convince each other to be part uh, to come back together again and fight together so yeah fair play Rocka you really did us proud and of course this scene though i just say it, it's kind of obvious that will happen though um choo choo come coming back just to apologize and just a uh, sorry was enough to say choo choo i'm sorry for doing this and that let's be friends again let's be a let's be sisters again isn't that a bit too easy although she carried on the feeling from Rocka, so because of that feeling the um, conversation she had with those two carried on to meeting with Chuchu, she just feel like relieved that she um she everyone accepted her still accepted her and be part wants her to be part of the team so yeah just like that ras is back together again and i think from this point on now ras will be uh, like really part of it, like a solid team now because now now they understand each other better they, they understand each other's pain they know that they need each other so that's why you can say that the cohesion within ras now is is you know solid a uh, really solid now because you know they really understand each other more now and it, they basically this is what um, many bands go through they come together resolve the situation um, apologize if they insult each other and just um, suck it up and move on and so yeah I'm very proud of this team and they they really 
show growth in the team. This is what I call a real band growth. Real, you don't grow as a band or, or as a team if you don't go through conflict stages or go through um, dark stages. In this case, like you know, fighting among members, going to, um, showing signs of like discontent for each other, but then you need to like talk to each other more and resolve the situation in. And understanding each other, understanding each other is, is more important than playing music. If you understand each other, the music will work. If you don't understand each other, the music um, will just crumble like we saw in last episode. And I'm very glad they come together and, and make this amazing happy birthday music. I just say, I love this music by the way. It's actually, without, actually, they can do well without Choo Choo. Because, you know, Choo Choo is basically the DJ and, and the song is too digitalized. I don't really like it. But no digitalized so uh, aspect to the song. I like it, man. I really like it. But yeah, I mean, taking a bath together, that shows team cohesion, man. That I know it, this is a fan service scene for people like me, but this shows strong cohesion, man. Co strong cohesion. I am very proud of them. I'm really, really proud of Ras, man. Showing solidarity, coming together, and being part of it, being part of it as a team. They are what they can step. They can go forward now and achieve and, and play well as a team now. And of course, Popping Party, they bounce back big time. Next episode, we're gonna see Popping Party come, somehow gain to a grasp of, how, of the situation they're in. And I'm pretty sure my man Mavery is so happy about this because you know he's a big Popping Party fan. I'm a big Rosalia fan. No Raz fan in the reaction world. But yeah, looking forward to the next episode and see how Popping Party go about to prepare. And by the way, the next episode, if I check out Wikipedia properly, it will not be available until in two weeks' time. I'm, I'm, um, I think it's in two weeks time or three weeks time. I need to double check, of course. So without, with that said, I uh, hope you guys enjoy my reaction today. Give a like, share, subscribe to our review content. Stick us next video. Review something. Stick us then.